For the better part of this century, AT&T's competition was distance, loneliness, separation, the geographic isolation of man. We understood that the success of our company could end that isolation, and in ending it, we would assure our success. We accomplished our mission, universal telephone service. Now, just a few years from a new century, a new age is beginning, the information age. It brings dazzling potential, but also a new kind of isolation. People are awash in a mounting sea of information, unable to connect with the information they need in an orderly, useful form. To overcome this new kind of isolation, AT&T has a new vision to make the information age universal, not just open to all, but inviting, to help bring about a worldwide telecommunity. We are now working toward the day, not very far off, when people around the world will be able to handle information in any form, conversation, data, images, text, as easily as they make a phone call today. And they'll be able to get information in a form they can use whenever they need it, from wherever it is. We envision a vast global network of networks, the merging of communications and computers, linking devices so incredibly capable they will require no special training to operate. But our vision of telecommunity doesn't revolve around machines. It centers on people. And it will serve people with things that seem like miracles. The seeds are here today. Students in four upstate New York high schools are taking an advanced math course that their schools don't offer. They meet by teleconference using a special electronic tablet and their school computers. A patient in rural Pennsylvania has his weekly checkups with a team of doctors hundreds of miles away without leaving his bedroom. Researchers on three continents search together for a more disease-resistant strain of wheat. They pool their findings, process them, and share the results. As an engineer works in Detroit, his data are processed into instructions for making a prototype in Milan. Now look ahead. Imagine when the seeds of telecommunity take root. The skill of a top surgeon in Boston guides an eye operation at a small hospital in Brazil. A business manager in Seattle responds instantly to an order from Halifax because information flows instantly through a vast integrated system linking his plant in Barcelona, suppliers in Bombay, and his sales force worldwide. Beethoven, in the hands of a prodigy in Arkansas, is shaped by the mind of a master in London. A student in Idaho asks the great libraries of the world for source material, and it arrives in minutes from the Bibliothèque Nationale already translated. These aren't pipe dreams. We have the science to construct the systems now. The technology is rapidly taking shape. We are dedicating our minds, our energy, our resources, our future to making telecommunity a reality, to bringing the best of the information age to the world. But no one company, not even AT&T, can do it alone. Our customers simply won't wait. To open the information age to everyone will take the best minds of many companies and even nations. AT&T intends to play a pioneering role. Technology is our means. Telecommunity is our goal. We're committed to leading the way.